Hello, captains out there. We at Pilot Training Solutions apologize for the delay, but we have been very busy with various projects. If the FAA knowledge tests or the checkride have been casting a shade over your clear horizons, remember that we are here to help you conquer your fears and help you put these exams behind you once and for all. Our latest video has to do with holding, and as usual, we will simplify the procedure for you. We are not going to discuss the entry, which we already discussed in a different presentation, which you can see by clicking on the link on the upper left corner. We're going to discuss the actual pattern. Teardrop, parallel, direct, uh, how do I get myself established and all along understand what I'm doing? Uh, let's get right to it. Now, let's assume you're flying to the station on a heading of 210, the 030 radio, and you receive the following holding instructions. Cessna 1474 Papa, hold southeast on the 180 radial to the station. Expect further clearance at 1852 Zulu. No turns were specified, so we're going to have right turns. Let's also assume you have the basics down and know the procedure. You would fly to the station and have your first doubts. Uh, but wait, I recognize it's a parallel entry. Now you pass the station and turn to 180. Because again, it's a parallel entry, and you know to parallel the course outbound. The timer hits a minute, and you know you should turn left because books say that you should turn opposite side of the holding turns for the first turn on a parallel entry. If you're lucky, you do so and get established. But what if you have a brain fart? I mean, what if you're in serious IFR conditions for the first time on your own? What if your life depended on it? No worries. Let's tackle that scenario. The instructions and positions are the same. Only this time, there's a strong wind coming from the west. Now, if you follow the same lame rote procedure, you would pass the station and turn to 180. Start your time, wait for a minute, and turn left. Upset the holding turns. See a problem with that? Because I don't see us anymore. What if there was an easier way to use and navigate VORs? Well, let's explore our pilot training solution to the problem and see what happens using our systems. Again, same scenario. We are on a bearing of 210 to the station, and instructions are to hold south on the 180 bearing to the station. No turns were specified, so right turns. We fly to the station, not paying attention to the wind at all. When we pass the station, we will go through something called six T's. Time, turn, twist, throttle, tires, and talk. We start our timer, one minute. Turn to parallel the course outbound, 180. We twist the OBS to the inbound, 360. If needed, we adjust the throttle to the required speed. If it was a final approach fix inbound, we would lower the gear, tires. And finally, we would advise ATC that we have entered the hold, talk. As we fly outbound, we wait for our long minute to pass. The fear that drove us insane before subsides little by little. But, which way do we turn? Oh wait, we can just use our usual system of interpreting a VOR and look at the needle to figure out the correct way to turn. As we said again and again in our videos and software, do not look for left or right on the needle. The needle always points to cardinal directions, and in this case, it's pointing towards the west. All I need to do is locate west on my heading indicator and turn on the same side that west is on our heading indicator. West is on the right side of my heading indicator, so that's the side I will turn towards. We get established, we don't hit the mountain, we happily continue on our way using our brain to do what is necessary, flying the plane. The rest is left to logic. And by the way, any time you are in doubt on which way to turn when turning inbound, just use the same system. Look at the needle, find a cardinal direction, and turn on the same side of the heading indicator where that cardinal direction is. We hope you enjoyed this latest production from Pilot Training Solutions. And by the way, if you want to learn more on IFR procedures, consider visiting our website and purchasing our instrument written preparation software. It is geared to passing the FAA knowledge test, but it's a 13-hour highly interactive ground school where rather than teach you to memorize question and answer, we train you to become a safer and better pilot, teaching you how to understand procedures rather than just pick the correct answer. Well, till next time, happy flying 
and blue skies from Pilot Training Solutions. Mm-hmm.